Data is a great thing if you know what to do with it. Stay tuned and we're going to get into it. So in, in this video, I'm going to tell you a little story, maybe two. So uh, just bear with me. So do you know what this is? That is a calf puller. What does a calf puller have to do with data? Well, let me, let me tell you a little story. So sometimes when a, when a cow's having a calf, it's breach or there's, you know, just an issue and, and, uh, and she needs a little help getting the calf out. So the farmer takes the calf puller and hitches it to the leg and jacks that calf right on out of there. Put a little pressure on it and it'll, it'll come right out. So one day a farmer was in the field pulling the calf and this city slicker, he's coming by and he stopped and uh, he's like, man, what in the world is going on? And the farmer's like, you ever seen anything like that before? And the city slicker's like, man, I ain't never seen nothing like that before. And uh, the farmer said, well, do you got any questions? And he said, well, I got one, just one question. The farmer said, put it on me. He said, reckon how fast that calf was going when it ran into that cow. <laughs> and so the, the, the problem is, is the same problem the city slicker had. You can have all the data in the world, but if you don't know how to interpret it, you'll still come to wrong conclusions. And it, it takes a lot of experience or common sense or both to, to look at data and be able to turn it into usable information. There's another story, uh, Billy Godbolt tells it. So, uh, Joe Mondello, sorry. So Joe would always run five sixteenths push rods in all of his engines. And when he tried three eighths, it made less power. And so he put the put the five sixteenths back in and the and the power would come back. And so Joe assumed that the big push rods was just losing power. But but the problem was the five sixteenths were flexing. And so he done all his development work with five sixteenths push rods that were flexing. And so he ended up with too big a camshaft for the application. So when he put a stiff push rod in it, then it made less power because the camshaft was too big because of the push rod flexing. So, you know, on the surface, he did a, a ABA test and the five sixteenths made more power than the three eighths. So, but that's because he only did one component change. Had he have, have used the three eighths when he was testing camshafts, he would have seen the, the issue you know, but he didn't. And so he just, and, and that's a, a real simplified, um, scenario, but I'm saying a lot of stuff is that way. So just cause you have tons and tons of data doesn't mean that X is always the answer. And I can think of many scenarios where, you know, whatever, you know, camshaft, cylinder heads, on and on and on. You can just come up with a thousand scenarios and somebody changes one aspect and then they build a whole theology around changing this one aspect and they don't look at any other inputs or 
scenarios, they just, they did a test and they moved this one thing and they did another test and moved it around some more and they took 10 tests and said, well, if you do this, this happens and this. And so this has got to be the answer. And, and it's just not, it's just not that way most of the time it, it's, it's, uh, I mean, you would think that if you had, uh, whatever, you know, a mediocre cylinder head and you tested five camshafts and, and, you know, X camshaft was the best. And then you put on a better cylinder head. And so you would assume that the same camshaft order would be true. It would just make more power every time with a better head. But then you test and it doesn't. A another cam w wins. And it's like, well, why is that? And so you just, you, you just got to have all the information and be able to look at it and understand, well, what happened? Why did it come out that way or whatever, you know, I mean, the, the, the calf puller situation, you know, I mean, just cause it appears to be one way doesn't mean that it really is. So I just... I had a, a, a long conversation with some people this morning to come from out of state about some camshaft stuff. And we had a, a conversation like this and I just thought it would be a good video to, you know, just help you think that it's just not always what it appears to be. I mean, there's always other stuff going on and this change is affecting this other thing and then that's affecting this other thing and so if you just change one thing you think you just isolated and you just changed one thing but you really didn't because that thing affected some other stuff so and it's almost always that way it's it's super hard to just isolate one thing because it's just touching so many other pieces so you know just be aware of that that it's just not always that simple i mean sometimes it is i mean there's some scenarios that it it is that simple but a lot of times it's just not so keep that in mind and uh you know because it just seems like everybody's talking about testing and data lately and this uh, that's wonderful i'm all for it but again, it's just what you do with the data is more important than the data. Always remember that. All right. Have a good day. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.